Cloud well started. Okay. Sergeant Martinez, opening statement, please. Good morning. Welcome to today's remote city council hearing of the Committee on Land Use. Participants at this time, please turn on your video and please place any electronic devices that may cause disruption to vibrate or off. Thank you for your cooperation. Chair Salamanca, we are ready to begin. All right, thank you. So, uh, uh, good, uh, good morning. Um, I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, Chair of the Committee on Land Use, and I am joined remotely today by Council Members Adams, Reynoso, Gwedenchik, Rivera, Deutsch, Ayala, Chair Moya, Barron, Kuhl, Lansman, um, Diaz, Gibbs and Gibson, and Chair Adams. Um, I want to thank Chair Moya and Chair Adams for their work on our zoning and landmarks subcommittees. Today, we will vote on a number of applications referred out of these subcommittees. Uh, but before we begin, I would like to recognize the committee's council to review the remote meeting procedures. Thank you, Chair Salamanca. I am Julie Lubin, counsel to the committee. Council members who would like to ask questions or make remarks should use the Zoom raise hand function. The raise hand button should appear at the bottom of the participant panel. I will announce council members who have questions or remarks in the order that they raise their hands. Chair Salamanca will then recognize members to speak. I would like to remind council members and the public that there may be extended pauses if we encounter technical delays. We ask that you please be patient as we resolve any technical difficulties that may arise. Chair Salamanca will now continue with today's agenda items. Thank you. Thank you, council. Today we will vote to approve LU 678 and 679, uh, the 5914 Bay Parkway rezoning relating to property in council member Yeager's district. The application seeks a zoning map amendment to change an R5 district to an R6 slash C24 district and a zoning text amendment to map a mandatory inclusionary housing area on the east side of Bay Parkway between 59th and 60th Street with MIH option one and two and the workforce option. The proposal will facilitate the development of a nine story mixed use building with ground floor retail, community facility use and, res and residential use. We will also vote to approve five items submitted by the Department of Housing, Preservation and Development. LU-666, the Weeksville NCP is an application submitted pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law and 197C of New York City Charter for the designation of an urban development action area. An urban development action area project and the disposition of property to a developer selected by HPD for property located at 1559 Dash 1563 Prospect Avenue, Brooklyn, in the council district represented by council member Amprey Samuels. LU 667 and 668 concern the 641 Chauncey portion of the old Stanley project. LU 668 was submitted pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law and Section 197C of the New York City Charter for the designation of an urban development action area, an urban development action area project and for the disposition of property to a developer to, the, to be selected by HPD. LU-667 was submitted pursuant to Article 11 of, a, of the Private Housing Finance Law, requesting an exemption from real property taxes for the disposition area. Both items relate to property located at 641 Chauncey Street, Brooklyn, Council District 37. LU-669, the O. Stanley II, was submitted pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law and Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law. In this application, HPD requests approval of an Urban Development Action Area Project, waiver of the designation requirements of Sections 197C and 197D of the Charter, and an exemption from real property taxes for property located at 676 Central Avenue and 1277 Decal Avenue, Brooklyn and Council District 34, which is represented by Council Member Reynoso and Council District 37, which is vacant. LU 670, Open Door, best Central and North One was submitted pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law and Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law. HPD requests the approval of an urban development action project, waiver of the designation requirements of Section 197C and 197D of the Charter, 
and an exemption from real property taxes for 16 properties located in Brooklyn in council district represented by council member Cornegie. We will also vote to approve three items submitted by the Landmarks Preservation Commission pursuant to sections 3020 of the city charter and sections 25303 of the administrative code. LU 671, the proposed resistance of the landmark designation of Beth Hamandraj Hagodol Synagogue of 60-64 North Fork Street in Councilmember Chin's district in Manhattan. The landmark no longer exists as it was destroyed by fire. LU 672 is an amendment of the landmark designation of the Alexander Hamilton House, also known as Hamilton Grange, to mark its landmark site 414 West 141st Street in Councilmember Perkins District in Manhattan. LU 673 is an amendment to the landmarks designation of King's Land Homestead to make its landmark site 143 37th Avenue and district represented by Councilmember Queen Queens. Members of the committee and members representing affected districts who have questions or remarks about today's items should use the raise hand button. Now council will announce members in the order that the hands were raised. Any members wish to make any comments or statements? All right, so uh, seeing none, I now call for a vote in accordance with the recommendations um, of the, I'm sorry. Council Member Reynoso has a comment or a question. I didn't. Okay, um, Council Member Reynoso. I'm sorry, Council Member. I didn't see your hand. It's cool, Chair. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Glad to, glad to see everyone on the on the call. I wanted to speak to the five nine one four Bay Parkway rezoning before we get to a vote. Um, instead of explaining it on my vote, I wanted to make sure that I uh, talk to members before before their vote. Uh, this uh, project is looking to uh, change the district from R5 to R6, and in doing so, using a workforce option. We're talking about uh, allowing for a one bedroom to be rented out at $2,500. Uh, and uh, we have an adjacent, uh, or not an adjacent, another application that's being done in a black district um, or a district represented by a black member um, that is doing 100% affordable housing uh, for a one bedroom under $1,000. Um, and the one that's uh, one bedroom for $2,500 is, is in a white affluent district. And what we're doing here is continuing to uh, perpetuate the segregation and the burden of building all the affordable housing in our city to black and brown minority districts. Um, is exhausting all of our resources, the burden of the development of all the affordable housing, getting people out of homeless shelters, continuing to fall on the backs of, of black and brown districts at some point. Uh, we need to get serious about dealing with affordable housing and not allowing for members uh, that are in districts that are affluent and white um, uh, have escape at this point, escape uh, to the responsibility of, of taking care of the greater good. Um, if you are in a district that is built affordable housing, especially the ones in South Bronx, Southeast Queens, Central Brooklyn, which continue to be the leaders in building affordable housing, um, we're at a loss here. Um, and this is gonna continue. Uh, and again, I just wanna make sure that I, I communicate that the workforce option, it's a one bedroom for $2,500 a month. That does not um, assist or support anyone in my district or anyone in homeless shelters from getting an apartment. This doesn't, the greater good is not achieved here. Thank you for giving me that opportunity to speak. And I hope that um, my members will look twice at uh, land use number 678. Uh, I believe it's 678. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Marinoso. Uh, is there any other member that wish to speak or make a comment? Council, is there anyone with their hands up? I, I see no other hands. Okay, thank you. So I will now call for a vote in accordance with recommendations of subcommittees and the local council members to approve LU 666 through 673 and LU 678 and 679. Will the clerk please call the roll? Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Aye or no. Thank you, one second. Gibson. How about I? Thank you. Barron. Permission to explain my vote. Councilmember Byron to explain her vote. 
Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I just wanted to comment, I support the comments made by my colleague, Council Member Antonio Reynoso, and I wanted to just comment additionally on item 670. It's a project located in community district, uh, community board three neighborhood, where 29% of the population is considered severely rent burden. And I went on ANHD to see what the, uh, what the demographics were for that community. And the poverty rate there is 27%. There's been a decrease in the population from 2016 to, two, no, from 2018 to 2019, a decrease of 23%. And there's also similarly been a decline in the poverty rate of three percentage points. And I wondered about that and tried to make uh, an understanding of how that happened. And what happened was that there was a significant increase in the white population. So it's not that the black population that presently lives there was able to find jobs and able to gain employment, but that another population came in displacing the existing population and that way impacting the poverty rate. The homes that are being offered in this project, three family home will range from 677,000 to $804,000. That's way beyond the reach of the majority of the population that's there and for me, that means that that population would be uh, not eligible to apply for the program. And in fact, there would be additional displacement of the black population. So for that reason, I'm voting no on land use 670, 678, 679, and any accompanying resolutions. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Council Member. Council Member Deutsch. I vote I know. Council Member Ku. I will, I don't know. Lanceman. Aye. Thank you. Miller. Council Member Miller. Council Member Miller, you're, you're muted. Yes, yeah, so we can hear you now. You're muted again, Council Member. I don't, I don't know with the exceptions of 678, 679, on those I'll be abstaining. Good that? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Reynoso. Permission to explain my vote? Councilman Reynoso to explain his vote. I also just want to mention before I vote that uh, this council was entertaining the idea of, uh, of removing or objecting to member deference in a brown and black community in, uh, in Industry City. Uh, and when it comes to member deference in other areas that are not black and brown, it seems like um, it's still holy grail. And I just want to make sure that the double standard there is something that we acknowledge and pay attention to. But I want to vote I on all with the exceptions of land use items number 678 and 679. Thank you. Thank you. Korenchik. I and all. Council member Levin. Um, if you can come back to me in a moment, I'm just getting a little bit of clarification. Sure. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> Adam. I vote aye. Ayala. We couldn't hear you, uh, council member Ayala. Sorry, can you come back to me in a second? Sure. Diaz. Siento. 
Moya. Evarai. Rivera. Aye. One moment. Council member 11. I vote aye. Thank you. Uh, Council member Ayala. Aye. Thank you. One moment. Okay. All items on today's land use calendar have been adopted by a vote of 15 in the affirmative, zero the negative, and no abstentions, with the exceptions of the following land use items. LU670 is adopted by the committee 14 in the affirmative, one in the negative, no abstentions. And land use items 678 and 679 are adopted by the committee 13 in the affirmative. Excuse me. Correction, land use items 678 and 679 are adopted by the committee, 12 in the affirmative, two in the negative, and one abstention. All right, thank you. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues and council and land use staff for attending today's hearing. We're Chair, going to Chair, um, oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure you knew that we may have another member voting. We're gonna leave the roll open for five to 10 minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you all. Barry, it's great seeing you. Okay, viva la Bronx. <laughs> Bye-bye, guys. Take care, sir. Have a good day, everybody. Uh, please uh, just be advised that we're still live on the live stream. Thank you so much. Okay, viva New York City, then. Bye-bye.
uh, Sergeant of Arms, we're going to leave the roll open until 1130. Four more minutes. Not a problem, sir. We'll uh, keep it rolling.
I'm sorry, Sergeant Arms. We're just trying to confirm another member. Just a, a few more minutes. No problem. No worries, Mr. Chair. All right, sergeants, I'm just making a sound just to bring the uh, New York City Committee Land Use uh, banner here back on the live stream.
All right, Council Member Traeger is about to get on now. <clears throat> Hello? Council Member. Uh, hey, good, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Really appreciate you. Um, and uh, I, I vote aye. Thank you, Council Member. Thank you. Okay. okay, final vote on all land use items that now stand at 16 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Again, with the exceptions of the following land use items, 670, with 15 in the affirmative, one in the negative, no abstentions, and land use items 678 and 679 are adopted by 13 in the affirmative, two in the negative and one abstention. Thank you. Thank you, Clerk. Um, I, so I would like to thank uh, the members of the public, my colleagues, council and line staff for attending today's hearing. Uh, this meeting is hereby adjourned. Thank you.